What is good, everybody? Today we are getting into brand new WWE Ultimate Edition action figures, man. We had some news drop just today and just the other day, but I did not cover it here on the channel. I wanted to get on here, talk about it a little bit, and it is three Ultimate Editions that I'm very much looking forward to, and I want to dive into it first, man, with this one right here. This is one that was revealed to us at Comic-Con. We all kind of expected it. We were all kind of, you know, on the edge of our seats waiting on this to be announced. As soon as the man walked through the curtain at Survivor Series, we figured this would happen. We kind of fantasy booked this figure, but it is the WWE Ultimate Edition CM Punk action figure right here, and this figure does look damn good, man. I'm very excited for this. We have the Ultimate Edition Ringside Exclusive now. This is up for pre-order, I do believe. On Ringside Collectibles, this figure is up for pre-order right now. We have the Money in the Bank 2011 CM Punk based on his Elite 16 figure, or I, I guess uh, either or, right? It's based on Money in the Bank 2011, but it's also based on the Elite 16. It's kind of a re-release of that figure in Ultimate Edition form, but we have all the different images right here, and and I remember at Comic-Con, we talked about this figure, right? We talked about everything that we were excited for about it, everything about that. But, you know, there are some things about this figure that I'm not looking forward to. I was a bit on the fence about some of the head sculpts, which we'll get into. But starting out with the formula and the head sculpt, I really like the blank expression so far. And these things could be subject to change. This is why you got to come by the reviews. This is why we do the in-depth reviews to find out exactly what we're going to be getting out of these brand new action figures. But this CM Punk figure right here looks pretty damn good. The formula is about what I expected. A lot of people are talking about the legs being a little thick. I don't really mind it. I think it looks pretty good and proportionate, and that's all that really matters to me. Hopefully, everything will work out well and pose around nice. I don't think it's going to have those stiff joint issues. It is going to have pin joints, which means this figure was created in the right factory, or at least I hope so. If this is created in the new factory, going to be pretty upsetting. I hope that this figure does feel good in hand. It doesn't have any of those issues, but I like the torso choice. The gear is obviously very good. I don't really care for the blowing kiss face. It looks... Like, obviously, that's what I wanted out of this figure, and when we fantasy booked the figure, that's what we wanted, but I am a little bit worried about how it's going to turn out in execution and how it looks. Maybe it will look better in person, but then we also have the screaming expression, which looks a bit, which looks kind of wacky with the eyes. I don't know, it kind of loses some of the some of the likeness to me, but the standard head sculpt with the kind of smirk looks the best, and then you have the Velcro shirt, the iconic CM Punk shirt. Then you have the WWE Championship. So I'm most definitely excited for this figure. It's one that we've been waiting on. Can't wait to review it. It's going to be an epic one when we get it in hand. But had to point out some of the things that I'm kind of worried about. But I touched on that when we saw it at Comic-Con. It's not like this is some new news there in terms of how I'm feeling about the figure. But we did get the new proto images. And again, I've said it before many times. When you see these figures at Comic-Con, it can change your perspective when you see better images of it. Because first of all, when you see them in the cons and the shows, those are earlier renditions most of the time or sometimes they are hand-painted prototypes. The head sculpts look a bit different. There could be some running changes, some things that they slightly change in design. You know, these are pretty much prototypes of the factory. They're kind of samples, right? The factory will send them a sample of the figure. They'll say, how does this look? And then they can approve it make adjustments, things like that. That's what we see at these shows. And so maybe some things will change, but I like the way this figure looks. I'm excited for it. I think it looks good as a CM Punk Ultimate Edition figure, and I'm looking forward to it. But I do have an announcement. Tonight, we have another WhatNot stream, and that means more epic wrestling action figure items are going to be available for you to purchase. On top of this, we will be doing at least five different WWE action figure giveaways for you. Completely free. All you have to do is download the app and show up on the stream tonight, 8 p.m. Central Time. We will be be going live on whatnot to celebrate beyond the con on whatnot bringing the joy of new york comic con to your home on your phone on the whatnot app if you click the link in the description below you will get 15 dollars free credit just for signing up and you can use those credits tonight on my whatnot stream whatnot is essentially ebay and twitch combined together to create a live streaming selling platform where i can sell off personal items for my own wrestling action figure collection every single auction that we do tonight will be starting at one dollar with zero reserve price Pricing. We're going to be selling off personal items from my WWE action figure collection, including custom WWE action figure belts, mystery items, including whatnot exclusive custom action figure. All you have to do is go to the link in the description down below, sign up, download the app, get your free $15 off coupon, and I will see you guys tonight at 8 p.m. Central Time on Whatnot.
So outside of our CM Punk Ultimate Edition, which I'm very much looking forward to, look at that screaming face, man. It just looks absolutely ridiculous. But I think the figure does look good at the same time. It's kind of a oddballs in there. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence. Because here, I think the figure looks good, too, at certain aspects. I think it's going to be one of those deals where you get it in hand, you kind of pose it around, bring it to life yourself, see what comes of it. But we also had two other Ultimate Editions revealed. Now, this has been known about for a while, but we do have brand new images that I think kind of tell the rest of the story about some of these figures that we're going to be beginning and I'm excited for it man we have Coliseum Collection wave number five and this is going to be I think it's wave number five isn't it I think it's wave number five we have Ricky the Dragon Steamboat and Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase very awesome images circling through right here I really like these figures a lot and I think these are going to be some of the most underrated figures that we see all year I really am digging Ted DiBiase's suit I love that we are getting like I know we saw these a while back but we didn't get to see them like this when you go to the cons and the shows man they're in in this box there's some weird lighting and it's kind of hard to tell all the details then when you get all of these different images you can kind of see the full story it kind of gives you a better idea of what you're looking at there's like different stages of it kind of you know so we do have Ted DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat I think both of these figures are going to be very poseable I like the way that Ricky the Dragon Steamboat looks I can't tell I want to say those do look to be pin joints and so that leads me to believe that I think this figure is going to be very very poseable I think that it's going to be one of those really fun in hand figures I think that the the torso looks very good. I like that the attire is not something you typically see from Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, which I like. You know, they didn't go with the same white gear that we've seen so many times. Really like the gi. Really like everything going on with the Ricky, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. And even the inserts of the cards out of the box look really, really good with the Million Dollar Man background. You have the classic background that we were used to getting, you know. And then it's the same Coliseum Collection, you know, packaging that we've gone, we've come to know over the last few years. But getting it at Ted DiBiase, really, really like this formula as well. I like how realistic it looks. The torso looks good, all those things. My only gripe with this figure is going to be the, the massive knee pads. I do not like the massive knee pads. I think that those are just, uh, I don't like them, man. I, I never like that knee pad mold. It really, it completely hinders the articulation that you get out of your action figures. But I will say, the rest of the figure looks very good. I love, love the black and pink suit. Looks very clean. It looks like it's going to be very easy to put on the figure as well. You guys know with Ultimate Editions, you're getting, you know, a handful of stuff. They, they really, I think that the Coliseum collection that Mattel and WWE make together is some of the most underrated figures that you will see. I know they're always Ultimate Editions, they're always high quality, but I swear they're some of the best figures that they make, these Ultimate Editions in the Coliseum Collection pack. I know we have that Ultimate Warrior and Papa Shango coming, which kind of reminds you of an Ultimate, or not an Ultimate Edition, they are Ultimate Edition, but it kind of reminds you of a, Col a Coliseum Collection pack, and they do a really outstanding job on these flashback packs. I think these are great, and they're really underrated, and they don't, you know, I don't know, I feel like they don't sell as well as they probably should, and they're very underrated, I don't know, but I feel like these figures aren't talked about enough, honestly, and when we review them on the channel, the review Reviews don't do as well as maybe other Ultimate Edition reviews and stuff like that, which leads me to believe that I don't think people really, I don't know, there, there's there's something about these figures that's completely slept on, and I think that this pack right here looks very good. I think that, you know, being 5 Series in, the Coliseum Collection has been something that a lot of people appreciate, but at the same time, still very, very underrated, and some of the best figures we see come from this line, and they're very good. I, I can't wait to get these in hand, and we saw these way back. I mean, it's been at least a little bit. I say way back. I know it's been a little bit. It's been ever since they showed off the the Imperium Elite 2 pack and stuff like that on that Mattel live stream. Pretty sure that was the day that they showed this. The same day that they showed off the that, you know, you remember that Legacy Mattel Creations pack with the King Harley race and the Muhammad Ali and stuff like that? The same day they showed that on that live stream is the same day that they revealed these, I'm pretty sure. But the images were really crap. You guys remember, we had to get, like, screen grabs from that live stream, put them in a video. And you, I really haven't seen a ton of differences between the two besides just the quality of images. So I don't know what the... That's a big time gap right there. I don't even know how long that's been. Has that been almost a year now, I feel like, since we saw these figures originally? But these figures look really damn good. I think that... Ultimate Edition Ted DiBiase and Ricky the Dragon Steamboat is definitely figures that we deserve to have. And I'm glad that we're able to get these Ultimate Editions of these characters and, you know, really of these things. And they put it in that classic packaging. It's just really, a really underrated, man. I'm telling you, don't sleep on these sets. I've seen them go for clearance on Mattel Creations. That could just be a quantity thing. 
and more or less, you know, what maybe that's not necessarily demand, but just having an oversupply or something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but I do believe the Chase variants are going to return with the regular packaging and the black variant packaging, which I don't know. I've never seen a black variant packaging. I know they exist, but some of them, I swear, I don't I don't remember seeing some of the, you know, the, the Bret Hart and the Jim the, the Anvil Nightheart. Don't remember ever seeing Chases of those. I could be wrong. Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but I'm really looking forward to this pack. I think they look good. And this is three really good Ultimate Editions that we should have in hand before the end of the year. So these will be considered for our top 10 Ultimate Edition countdown when we get to the end of the year. And that should be awesome as well. But today, I just want to get on here, touch on the CM Punk, the Ted DiBiase, and the Ricky the Dragon Steamboat. All of which look really, really good. And I am excited for all of them, man. So it should be a good deal. But that is pretty much going to wrap up today's news video of all three Ultimate Editions. Can't wait to get these in hand, man. I think a lot of them have a lot going on. I think I'm most excited for the CM Punk. As great as the Coliseum Collection pack does look, I think I'm most excited for the CM Punk because we've been waiting on that one and fantasy booking that one, waiting on, you know, a CM Punk Ultimate Edition for a long time. Ever since he returned to the company, immediately went into our brains that we're going to be getting one. And I'm sure they're probably going to make even more of those and they're going to be pumping CM Punk out a lot in 2025. As many figures as we're already getting in the pipeline and as many as we know about, I think next year is going to really be the, you know, the, they're really going to ramp it up. And I think we're going to get a ton of CM Punk in 2025, and it should be good, man. But I think that is pretty much going to wrap up today's news video. I'd love to know all of the thoughts that you have about these figures down in the comment section below. You think these look good? You think they look like crap? Let me know all those things down in the comment section below, man. But come by our WhatNot stream tonight, man. It's going to be a ton of fun. 8 p.m. Central Time. Going to be doing a lot of things over there. Five free figure giveaways at least. And most of the time, uh, the, the comment section ends up driving me to give away two or three more items. We, we end up doing like a bunch of giveaways, and it's always really fun. And they're, they're just a ton of fun, man. So come hang out. Check out WhatNot. Click the link in the description below. But I'm getting the hell out, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout-out to our Patreon members, man. Appreciate you, fellas. Thank you guys so very much, man. You guys are absolutely incredible. Appreciate all of that you do for me on a monthly basis, man. But I'm getting the hell out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.